Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has rolled out the early stable release for Chrome version 142, which is going to be our next version upgrade rolling out next week. And Google rolls out the early stable a week or so before general availability. And the early stable was made available late yesterday in my region on the 22nd. So I would suggest next week, Tuesday or Wednesday, 142 will make it to the general public. Now, most, including myself, will not have received the early stable because Google only rolls it out to a limited subset of users to iron out a couple of bugs before general release. And if you are one of those to have received the early stable, the version and build will be bumped up to 142.0.7390.52 for Windows and 0.53 for Mac. Now, with version 142, when it does make its release next week, I think we're not going to see too many front-facing features. Most of the changes according to the Chrome platform status are taking place under the hood. And the first two are for better security. With Google saying in the Chrome platform status that Chrome now is getting a better security barrier called Origin Keyed Process Isolation, which apparently is a deeper level of protection than we currently have, which will make it much harder for a bad website to mess with other open websites. So I think that's a nice move taking place under the hood. And then the next one is smarter cookie and tracking protection, where Google is taking steps to prevent certain types of user tracking and is making cookies more secure by default. So those are all security changes taking place under the hood, which I think is great. And then over and above that, if you do find yourself in an enterprise environment, Gemini AI will be rolling out more in the browser. I think Google's pushing Gemini more and more if you do have a subscription and you find yourself in an enterprise environment. And for companies managing their employees' browsers, there's also going to be new administrative tools for admins, which will include the ability to run remote commands and new policies for greater and better control. So that's according to the Chrome platform status. There's a lot more taking place under the hood, but that's what I could pull out, which I thought you may be interested in. Because as mentioned, I don't think we're going to see too many tweaks and adjustments when it comes to user interface and new features. But on that note, I'm still really hoping, if we head over to the Canary browser, that the split view feature is going to finally make it into stable. I know I've said this for the last couple of months. I personally don't see why it shouldn't be rolling out now. But nonetheless, it's going to be interesting to see if we get the new split screen feature rolling out in version 142. And while we are in Canary, if we head to our extensions, In version 143, the recent workaround I posted to enable MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin still works. It's going to be interesting to see if the workaround I provided, which I posted when Chrome hit version 140, using developer mode, will still work with version 142. But if it doesn't, the good news is, is that version 143 the newest workaround I posted, which I'll leave linked down below in the end screen using a command line flag, still works. So there's a good chance that this workaround will still work with our next stable release. And then, of course, we will get security updates rolling out. I think that's a given. So guys, that's just a very quick brief overview as more or less what I think we could expect with version 142 next week. And who knows, there might be one or two surprises. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.